Hey friends, thanks so much for all the positive feedback on my previous post about showing you how to make that little toe-up booty. I'm also going to show you how to make another little toe-up device. It doesn't include the booty part, but it can uh, be really effective for keeping those toes up to prevent the paw drag as well. This is something that you would want to use more as a training device, not something that you want to keep on all day, uh, but it might you might find this helpful, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, similar to the toe-up booty device, this also uses a cuff that goes above the hock. It uses elastic paracord, and then this part goes underneath the uh, two middle toes of the paw to help keep it raised up so that it will prevent knuckling in a dog that has neurologic impairment. You're gonna need a piece of neoprene that's gonna go above the hock to help secure it. So I just buy sheets of neoprene. I cut it out with using a rotary blade. It makes my life a lot easier to get straight cuts using a straight edge. And then I cut out a, uh, um, the appropriate size cuff for the size dog that I'm trying to fit. So once I have the piece of neoprene, then I'm going to, again, sew on a little plastic ring. This is a half inch plastic ring that I sewed on by hand using um, some upholstery thread. Now that I've cut out my piece of neoprene, I have sewed on my half inch plastic ring. I'm now going to use a piece of hook and loop, that's what it's called if it's not the Velcro brand, it is hook and loop to be able to bring it around and be able to attach it so that it can become a cuff that goes above the hock. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is a piece of elastic paracord. And what I like to do is string a piece of theratubing around the elastic paracord so that it can be a lot more comfortable because this is gonna go between the toes of the dog. And sometimes between those toes is a pretty decent web space. And that webbing can get irritated if this paracord is pulling up on that webbing. So I like to use this uh, little piece of um, theratubing to help protect the toes in that web space. The next thing you're gonna do is put on a cord lock. These cord locks just get strung through so that you can create a little loop there. And then you're gonna just take the cuff that you made string the paracord up through the plastic ring, and then put another cord lock up on top to secure it. That way you have one cord lock that's going to effectively keep it in the loop and keep it around the toes, and then you'll have another cord lock up on top that will help, uh, that will help give you the tension that you need to keep the toes up. Okay, now to put the toe up on, you just put the cuff above the hock joint here. And then bring the loop around the middle two toes. And then you can adjust the tension using the toggle. Hopefully you find that helpful and let me know how it goes.